As we're going through this series, I always find it funny when we have a film in alphabetical order yet out of order of a series. On some level, I'm just going to use this to record this footage backwards just to make a hook. Ha! Here we go. Welcome back to another Hanging with the Herons. My name is James. This is 365 Movies in 365 Days in 3 minutes and 65 seconds. We have The Born Legacy. I do enjoy this film. Let me tell you what I like about it. We have Jeremy Renner. I really enjoy him and most of his work he has done. He's great in this. Rachel Weiss is fantastic in this as always. The suspense is really good. The action is really good. This would be definitely considered an action adventure film. It is in the Bourne series, so it definitely has the same espionage feel to it. And it's a very enjoyable film. It's exciting. It's thrilling. You really don't know what's going to happen next in certain circumstances. There may be some things you can kind of predict, but overall, it's a really well done film. It's a great story. We enjoy it. I definitely would recommend it for a watch. It's a neat addition to the Bourne series. Let's get to that cast because it's big. Seeing as how we already mentioned our two famed stars earlier, let's just break right into some characters like Oscar Isaac. Can we say Poe? from Star Wars, how cool is that? He's in this, but this film was shot a while ago, and so it's really neat to see him in a small role and now him having such a big role in such a huge franchise. That's really cool. Albert Finney is back again. I feel like this guy pops up all over the place. I've known of his films. I recognize him as an actor. I had no idea how deep he was in so many great films, and it's neat that a lot of the films he's in, I didn't get the films because I loved him as an actor. However, it's neat to see a lot of the films we've already talked about throughout these episodes, he's in these films, so he is in a lot of really great films. And it's kind of cool to see him in so many roles. That's awesome. Corey Stoll is in this, and just kind of breaking out too. Also very young in his acting career. Came out and did some other big things, like including Ant-Man. Donna Murphy does a wonderful job in her role, and one of our favorite films of hers is Tangled. We love that film. Along with Albert Finney, Stacey Keach is in this. The other Brian Cox look-alike, I feel like they all look very similar. He's in this as well, he's fantastic, he's really great in his role. Then the famous Edward Norton is in this as well, he's fantastic, he's Edward Norton. You know, he is a really diverse character. I have found films of his that he's very, very different in, so everything from obviously Fight Club, you know, I really liked him in Rounders, and then a really great film that I highly recommend, Death to Smoochie. Really great film for Edward Norton, it'd be really neat for you to watch that and see the contrast in his typical characters he's played and seeing him in something like that. He's great. Scott Glenn rounds us out, who's in one of my all-time, if not maybe my very favorite Western, Silverado. He's in this. Here's those quick fire facts. So as we were mentioning, Scott Glenn and Albert Finney, aside from archive footage, were only in one scene throughout this entire film, which is pretty crazy. For all you Marvel fans out there, here's a couple fun Marvel facts. Our character, Aaron, played by Oscar Isaac, was actually referring to a place where he was going to go set foot out and in the film he referred to it as the nest when he was talking to Jeremy Renner. Hence, Jeremy Renner refers to his locations throughout the Avenger films sometimes as the nest because he's Hawkeye. Which also leads us to our next quick fire fact. Some other characters in this film involved in other Marvel movies. Obviously Jeremy Renner as Hawkeye. Scott Glenn as Styx in the Daredevil series, who he's really great in that. Edward Norton played the Incredible Hulk. And as we mentioned before, Corey Stoll, he was Yellow Jacket in Ant-Man. So a lot of Marvel connections throughout this film way before Marvel had really taken off and blown up the way that it has now. Thanks so much for again for joining me. My name is James. You have been hanging with the Herons on another 365 movies in 365 days in 3 minutes and 65 seconds. As always, comment below. Let me know what you think about this film, if you've seen it or not. And if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Come back and comment below and let us know what you think then. As always, peace.